I get asked a lot of questions about these. These are just water pitcher filters. This is a Brita. And people want to know what are my opinions on these. I think it's better than nothing. They are, however, a tad expensive, in my opinion at least. And the cartridges are not cheap. I just replaced an old cartridge. You can tell when they need to be changed because, you know, when you drink filtered water for long enough, you get used to the flavor of it. It tastes much better. And then when the filters get full, you start to taste that old taste again, and it's disgusting. So replacing these cartridges, I just had to go to the store and are on, online and buy some of these, and they're just not cheap. There's better models on the market, in my opinion. Again, this is a Brita. Alexa Pure makes one with two cartridges that if you're going to use a water pitcher filter, that would be the way to go. There's some other brands that are good as well. Um, but ideally, you guys, you're going to want to use remineralized, restructured, distilled water or use a reverse osmosis unit. The problem with RO units and filters like this is that they're dark and they're wet and they stay that way. It's the perfect bacteria breeding ground, you name it. On top of that, when contaminants get filtered and picked up by these filters, the carbon, you name it, the, contam the contaminants, some of them are neutralized, but some of them stay in the filter. So when these filters aren't changed re regularly enough, when you run water through them, you're just basically running water through a bunch of, you know, accumulated metals, algicides, cobalts, disinfectant byproducts, and runoff. So I think that these are good because it minimizes especially your exposure to chlorine and chloramine. But these aren't going to get rid of the fluoride. They're not going to get rid of a lot of the contaminants. They're going to get rid of a lot of the stuff that takes or that makes tap water taste gross. And fortunately, like I said, it's going to get rid of a lot of the chlorine and the chloramine. And we know through research that exposure, chronic exposure to chlorine increases your risk of getting cancer drastically. So tap water is one of the... Um, it's, it's how we get exposed to chlorine on a daily level. And a lot of people are washing their hands with this. They're bathing in it. So... I give these about a 5 out of 10 because I understand that they're practical... But you really, if you're serious about your health, you're going to invest in a better model. You're also going to invest in a shower filter. Omica Organics and the Cousin brand have some great shower filters. So does Mercola. There's a handful of them. Just do some smart shopping and find one immediately. Because although drinking tap water is dangerous, I would say that showering, it, showering in it, excuse me, I can't speak today, is just as dangerous if not more because you're opening the pore because most people statistically take hot showers they're not taking cold showers and when you open up the pore through steam and heat you shuttle in all the chlorine and all the crap into your skin it's like a gas chamber so again these are to answer people's questions and this is a brand new cartridge with the new cartridges you got to run water through them a few times before they you use them so that you can get all the charcoal residue out but to answer people's questions what do I think of these uh, I think that they're a useful item when you're in a pinch. It's a useful item to use temporarily if you have nothing else. But you should seek or you should get a distiller. See how long it's taking to come out of the cartridge? And you can see it's got a little bit of black coloring to it. That's all the charcoal residue. Never use hot water with these either, you guys. You'll deactivate them. But it's a, it's a useful item in a pinch. That's it. This should not be your go-to water filter ever. Because it's only removing the chlorines, the chloramines, you name it. It's not enough. So just shop smart, get a distiller, or get a high-quality RO unit. The, I'm, I've been a di an advocate of distilled water for years, and I'm still. It's a, you know it, Ten years later, I'm still just as passionate about distilled water because it is the cleanest water in the world and it's a perfect base to rebuild the water you have to build rebuild distilled water so that concludes this message